Hello, my name is Megan Bender, and I am the creator of MaddieBugs.com. Um, and Maddie Bugs Creation on uh, Facebook, if you want to, and Instagram and all that stuff. If you want to um, follow me on all my t-shirts and stuff like that, I will link everything down below. Um, I've had a lot of requests on Facebook about how I make my poly tea spray and how it actually works. Because a lot of people say that you have to have 65% or polyester or more and that you cannot sublimate on 100% cotton. Well, I'm going to prove them wrong today that you can actually sublimate on 100% cotton. Um, the shirt I have on is actually 50% polyester and 50% cotton. And my poly tea spray was on this shirt and it made the image pop out more than what it really would on a 50% polyester. 65% is also very great to have because your colors... You don't need to use the poly tea spray and your colors come out more vibrant. Um, this is without poly tea spray on a 65% cotton or polyester and the colors came out perfectly cool on those. That's what the colors look like on 65% polyester. Now I have already used my spray on one of my shirts that is 100% cotton and I've already pressed it and I will show you what that looks like before I make the spray. And that came out looking like this. So the colors are still just as vibrant as a 65% cotton. Or polyester, I'm sorry. 65% polyester. All right, so I'm gonna take you over here to my table and I'm gonna show you how I make my spray. Okay, in this spray, you are going to need, sorry, my, I gotta get this situated right. In this spray, you're going to need, not this bottle, a spray bottle that is eight, eight fluid ounces, or you can do 16 fluid ounces, just like my Dawn spray bottle is here, which I like using these because it's got that power mister and you don't have to spray as much and work as hard. And then you're going to need this polycrylic, I've got the polycrylic clear matte. I got this at Walmart for $18 and I got the big jar. And it should make quite a bit. Another thing you're going to need is a tablespoon because you're gonna need, for every eight fluid ounces, you need two tablespoons. So for this particular bottle, I put four tablespoons of this polycrylic in it and then I fill it up with water and it works perfectly fine. It made that shirt that I just showed you all. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and let's pour this out. I don't have very much in there. I'm gonna go ahead and make it for you guys. So what I do first is I open up my polycrylic and I dip my spoon in here. Make sure that it is level with the teaspoon and then I put it in here. Try not to make a mess like I do. I'm one of the messiest people in the world. Yeah. Just put four in here. One, that's two. Just make sure your teaspoons, or your tablespoons, I mean, tablespoons are level when putting them in your jug. Or your bottle. And you can use any spray bottle. You can go buy one for a dollar at the dollar store, or you can get your, if you use this kind of uh, dish liquid, you could just wait till it's empty and use it. Or you can use a, you could just use any kind of spray bottle laying around. Uh, I think that was four. Actually. One more. Perfect. All right. And then after I get my tablespoons in there, I will just fill it up with water. I use cold water for this. You want to use cold water for this. And shake it up. And that is how you make poly tea spray. It will be white looking, should be white looking when you're done. And that is my magic poly tea spray.